All right, so yeah, let's get a good look around this town. I have, I want to see like everything around this town. You can have, you can have, you can then have the game close itself by going to your bed at your house. No, no more people will smash until Waluigi gets into it. Yeah, Nintendo, where the hell's Mario Luigi? <clears throat> Hey, students! Chris, you survived Susie! I was getting worried. Now you can finally pay off your family debt. How to draw dragons is 2583 days overdue. However, Chris, I'm a benevolent volunteer assistant. If you turn it in this week, I'll reduce your fine to a mere 6423, considering it, Chris. <clears throat> your bet is the end of the game. Now bet is the final boss. Oh, jeez. I just want to pull off 24 hours, okay? Chris, what's up? Caddy's working, so I'm starting on our project. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. It's the same pictures with a soccer ball 73 times. Check the door, by the way. In here? Okay, I will do. Gotta go to college. So Tim, study hard. She's reading a comic full of hot demon guys. Boy, what is, what is she into these days? Hello, i never seen you before. I love reading books. Especially the books upstairs. You should really read them. You look through the window to the computer lab. There seems to be a dog inside working at a computer. Seems like it's making a game. Seems like you shouldn't interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. Okay. Gaster follower. Computer lab, please smurf the web responsibly. In fact, maybe don't do it at all. Because <laughs> internet is considered a bad thing to everybody. <laughs> hey, and it's a good thing. For many reasons. Hello! Long time to see, old pal. Hey, punk! Get out of the road! You're blocking traffic! Oh, wait. It's just Asquith's kid. Sorry! I'm a little, uh, worked up lately. Speaking of Asquith, where is he anyways? i never seen him. This job is so boring, nothing ever happens in this town. There. I just wish something would shake things up. Huh? You got something to report? Uh, help? Oh, uh, you want to help me? Sure, punk. Get someone to rob the bank so I can suplex them. Jeez. Wait, do we even have a bank? Hey, get someone to build a bank. How, how am I supposed to get past this blue lady? I'm stuck. I guess I should just run away. Police Chief Undyne is supposed to be directing traffic. But all she's doing is standing in the middle of the street, yelling, get out of my way. She's the best, huh? I feel really directed. Let me go down. Oh, we got a town hall. Let me explore around here real quick. What's in this hospital here? Keep talking to Rondine. Okay. Got something to report? How about the Dark World? What? There's a Dark World inside a school? Uh, sure, kid. There's no law against Dark Worlds anyways. That's a job for the school board. <laughs> okay, how about office? Office? Who's office? No idea who you're talking about. Did something happen to Undyne? Why did they do something illegal? Gotcha! If I see Office, I'll tackle them. <laughs> They're as good as dead. But they knew each other though, right? Uh, who the hell are you? Oh, it's you. Are you here to play the piano again? The patients can't hear as well from here, but I personally enjoyed it. I mean, sure. For some reason, people never talk and stick to the other options. Or click the other options. It's an obligatory hospital piano. Shrug to fit in the corner. As a result, it's messing most of the good keys. Play it. Blink. Well, damn, it's broken. Somebody ripped the notes out of it. It's one of those sliding boy bead toys that naturally spawns inside doctor's offices. I know, I pretty... I remember as a kid, every doctor's office I go to had one of these. The bees merge grimly along this their set of path. Oh great, more doors. Well, hello there! Uh... <laughs> what happened to your hands? <laughs> Do I want to know what you did to your hands? He was fapping too hard and he lost his hands. This castle's white wizards re-elected me to this healing chamber. But my blood is boiling for battle. Ah, so he lost in a battle. This guy, this game takes place in a different universe where humans and monsters never went to war. 
Ah, oh, so that's why Undyne never knew who Alphys was. Ha, ah, Dad. I can't just... <clears throat> I can't just say that to her. Oh my god, I died. I literally died. No, sweetheart. First time I laid eyes on your mother, I walked right up and told her she was a hot piece of work. Uh, really? Yeah, she slapped me so hard I blanked. I blacked out. Ah, that, that doesn't help at all. <clears throat> well, it's a different if it's Tyler Quine to Toby Fox. Well, that's kind of dumb. It would be pretty cool if, like, uh, uh, like everybody basically knew who they were from the previous game. Anyhow, how's Dragon Blaze's you know, beat it yet? Nah, I'm still at the Ice Palace. I've been kind of, kind of waiting to finish it with you, Dad. No, maybe, maybe you shouldn't wait, Dad. You should bring it here on board a sail. Haha, <laughs> fine, you win. I'll bring it next time. Oh, it's getting late. Guess I better go. I've got homework. Oh, that's the group project voice. Bird guy again. What's his name? Nerdly? It's, um, Birdly. He's not that bad, Dad. <clears throat> I'll kick his ass. Oh, boy. He's getting very jealous now. He's a fr It's a dad thing. Gets very, very jealous when they see the daughters, like, talking to some other guy. Doesn't matter if it's a friend, boyfriend, best friend, roommates, co-worker, whoever. Usually when I watch a video, I skip this exploring part because I spent half an hour on it. <clears throat> Daddy, you're not even supposed to get up. Bring him in by the window. I'll throw something at him. Goodbye, Dad. Bye, honey. Well, hello there. Oh, hi, Chris. Don't mind me. I'm just snooping. Well, jingle my gosh darn bells. Looks like Christmas came early. All right, Chris. Just give me the straight shot. Why are you here? Did your mom make you come here? Yeah. Haha, uh -huh. that's what I thought. She's a beach, huh? Fuzzy and sweet on the outside and total nut on the inside. Oh, your dad? Yeah, he's a real fruit himself, too. Which one? I don't know, probably a hairy one? Like a kiwi. <clears throat> it's nice to see people's reactions. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, I don't know what the hell you typed. Okay, okay, seriously. You want to chat or something? Uh, how's family? Whoops. How's family? Chris, even if we've grown apart, we still love your family. After all, me and Asquare were college pals, right? Oh, hey. Now what? Asriel's off to college. Asriel's. Who's Asriel? That name sounds familiar, but I just can't remember. Goofy Goober Rock. Speaking of Goofy, I got a Goofy cup right here. But I'm currently out of liquid soda, water. You think he's doing any crazy parties like me and your dad? Eh, I'm just pulling a leg. Your dad was no party animal. Your mother on the other hand. Whoo! Gee, whoo, boy, whoo! <laughs> She'd always fuss about going, but once the party started, yikes, man. Once she hit me clear across the room with the key lime pie. I got smashed into the snack table and toppled everything. Tasty pie, though. Couldn't complain. <clears throat> and you call yourself an Undertale fan of subs. <gasps> oh. <laughs> How dare you? You don't know nothing. <sighs> oh, like the police. You knocked on the door to the police station, but no one answered. Someone's coming up to the window. They just closed the blinds. Seems like the police aren't really feeling it right now. But somebody's inside there. They closed the blinds. Asvia was turned into flowery. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Okay. I never met the person, though, but I know who it is. Now that I actually think about it. Yeah, I never did, like, completely... Did everything in Undertale. I never did like the completely good any side. I didn't do the bad any side. So, but I did heard like a lot about it from watching other people stream. Who the hell are you? Are you Barney with a mask on? Ice me up! Ice me up, boss! Napster block is a cop. He's not really feeling it. He's not Shulk. Hmm. 
What is going on here? <laughs> oh god, someone's actually here! Uh, I see pizza! You're number one spot for the piping hot piece of pizza! Hey, hey! Hey, wait a second! I recognize you! Well, hello there! Little buddy, it's me! Hey, you're the weird guy from the shop! Wanna chat for a minute before I lose my mind? Uh, sure! Make no mistake, little buddy! I see pizza is hell. I can't slack off for seconds without hearing, "Be a team player." There's no I in pizza. Pizza. Yes, there is. You just took it out. But it's okay, little buddy. I've been saving up to go to the college where Ezzy is. Then I'll get to the theater degree, become a famous actor, and let the fan girls well in, little buddy. How about the co-workers? Ah, yes, little buddy. Good idea. Meet the Ruth Rouge Gallery. Blue Years, soft serve, obsessed, no concept of personal space. Keeps accidentally pouring slushes on me and giggling. The warrior, thankfully, has sent due to pizza-related injuries. Constantly terrorizing customers with war chants. Purple guy, man. That guy. You gotta. Actually, does that guy even work here? Ah, my co-workers. What would I be without them? A happy place. Little buddy. A much happier place. Is he we refer, uh, referencing again to Five Nights at Freddy's? Love it with, since he mentioned about the purple guy. Burger Pants. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the name. Yes. Yeah. Do you know when Azzy's coming home? Y you can't tell him this, but I really miss the guy. It'd be sweet to cruise around the town like old times. Baking up, for example, chicks. Which, as a matter of course, may not have ever actually happened. But one time, Undyne made eye contact with me while she was writing me a speeding ticket. I keep forgetting his name. Burger Pants. That's the name. Burger Pants. Famous guy. For every possible no meme on the internet. On the internet. I like that guy. Would you be interested in trying some of our mini 24 pizza flavors? We've got normal, cheese, ice, gravy, double ice, pe pepperonis, and more. Stop on down to Icy's Pizza. Gonna go right to see the dead meme. See a dead meme? Oh boy, I want to see a dead meme. When I was 12, I started every inch of Undertale. Yeah, I tried to study Undertale, but I got it just got to the point where it was just, it was just too much. <laughs> But I really did try though, and then I just kind of, I just kind of moved on. Seems like all of the employees are outside in the costumes. He will never die. He will live on forever. Uh, QC's diner. Who are you people? I never met any of you people, except you. You look familiar. Oh, you're the crazy cat in class. You're alive. Nice. I'm working. Cool. Uh, we'll take the special, and do you have any edible glitter? The youngest one won't eat anything if it doesn't look like treasure. <clears throat> hey there, haven't seen you in a while, hon. <clears throat> haven't seen you in a while, hon. I remember, back on Sundays after service, you and your family would come in and order the special. Of course, things happen, and then, well, you know, you all stop coming together. But every Sunday, you and your brother still come in. He'd order you a hot chocolate. And you two sit down at that table in the corner, drawing shapes in the window with your breath. <clears throat> you must really miss him, huh? Here, how about this? Chris got the hot chocolate. Uh, yeah, okay, never mind. On the house, hon. Oh boy, free hot chocolate. Looking at my rug body, you must wonder what kind of secrets I hold. My secret is, I put all my leftover pancakes in this giant hat. <clears throat> ice Wolf does not like ice and drink. Ice Wolf likes ice. To be drink. So, for you two girls, that'll be the crepes of cinnamon latte, two bunny parfaits, and a piece of a firewood. I like the vibe of the waitress here. Maybe I should sign up too. Nah, serving drinks won't really suit a fire of element. Yeah, because I'll burn everybody's mouth off. It'll be a very hot latte. If I got nervous, I'd just smell all the ice. Alright, so... Prince Ralsei, be right back.
J Bab. It feels like exploring a town is just as long as rushing through the underground. Yeah, kind of. Closed. Hey, Sans, how you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. Hey, Luke was walking around. How dare you, kid? Great to see you again. Yeah, it's feeling nice, isn't it? Especially considering I've never met you before. The name's Sans. Sans the Skeleton. I'm new in town. What's up? Friends? We've just moved here, so I hardly know anyone. Why well, I got anyone, I should know better. Uh, how about me? Well there, Tiger. You can't just jump straight into friendship. It takes time. Alright, that's enough time. Take this. Call it whenever you feel like it. You got Sans' number. Cool. Uh, how about the store? Behind me? Yeah, that's the grocery store. Unfortunately, it's closed. What a pain. I really wanted to buy some milk. Someone ought to complain to the guy who runs it. Well, Sans Sans... It said Sans right on the, um... Name up there, so, uh... How dare you, kid? <clears throat> I guess so. Uh, let me see here. Why I got anyone I should know better? Your mother, huh? Too late. I already befriended your mom last night. She's great. Came up to my store to buy chocolate kisses. Said she's gonna lock her door to stop you from eating them. <laughs> you sound like a fun kid, huh? Yeah, befriended. <laughs> Boy, he's only been in town for like a day or two, and he's already been friendly with everybody. <clears throat> How about my teacher? Alphys? Yeah, I know about her. Came into the store with a suitcase and sunglasses. Thought she was some part of a mob. She opened a case and stuffed it full of instant noodles. Paid in small bills, then slunk out of this place. Pajamas trailing on the floor. Anyway, our relationship is uh, purely business. So uh, I guess I'll just let her do her thing. Hey, bud. Are you busy tomorrow? I need some help with something. It'd be great if you could come over. I live just next door, you know. Sure. Wow, you answered quickly, huh? That's not good. I'm a total stranger. You should probably hesitate more. Well, guess I shouldn't complain, huh? What are we gonna be doing? Oh, I'm not going. To, I'm not going to be there. That'd be weird. It's just gonna be you and my little brother. He needs friends. And thanks for hanging out with him. See ya. Knock, knock, knock. No answer. Then there was no response. But the distance travels the bones. Hmm. Knock, knock. Anyone home? Ooh. Are you the human that lives on top of the town? Wow, my mommy told me about you. Does it hurt to be made of blood? Hmm. <clears throat> knock, knock. Huh? That sounds like the knock of a beginner. Come back when you've gotten better of knocking. Nope, nothing. Nothing at all. Okay, so there's nothing here. The pirate's theme is called Bone Trouser. Yeah, I know. I know. I haven't seen him yet, though. He's probably inside his home there. Shaking his bones, you know. Whew! You're lucky, Chris. You got to miss class with Alphys. It's not fair, haha. <laughs> if I skip class, my dad never let me hear the end of it. That's actually not even remotely funny. Well, hello there. Yo, Chris, you survived Susie. I mean, I never saw her beat anyone up, but yeah, I, I, I'd I, be careful. Like one time, me, Snowy, and Joggington were playing handball, and she just kept creepily watching us from the corner. Then, when the ball rolled over to her, she just uh, froze solid and kicked the ball as hard as she could right into the officer's Undyne's car. Then Undyne came out, smiling, cracked her knuckles, and totally wiped us out of handball. At, <clears throat> I read that wrong. And totally wiped us that handball. Anyway, Susie sucks, Chris. Yeah, but yeah, well, you just gotta get to know her better. A distant truss of bones. Oh, Snowy. What did I tell you about knocking the door so hard? Don't do it. It's really gonna hurt your face. We don't have harms, you know. Jeez, buddy, look out the window. Jeez. Hey, Alphys, what are you doing back here? Oh, Chris, you're, you're okay. I was really worried when you didn't come back. Where did you go? Did you skip class? Well, don't worry about it. I'm the cool teacher, you know. You're not in trouble. Well, let me know if you need anything. Yeah, what the hell are you doing with a little bowl there? What is that? It's a saucer of milk. Oh, stray cats? Oh, oh, Chris. 
D did you want to talk about something? Uh, the saucer? <clears throat> j Bob, what did you realize? I know, right? I don't know what Alpha is doing back here. Unless she's feeding some stray cats. I really don't know. It's from my kitty, Mew Mew. She's a perfect angel. Uh, what does she look like? Well, I never actually seen her, but uh, but ever since I started putting out milk, it's been disappearing. So I'd like to think that there's been a there's a cat somewhere. My cat. But where? You never told me you beat him. You never went back to the shopkeeper after you beat Javil. You never told me you beat him. Oh. Hmm. It probably wouldn't make any big difference, but yeah. Oh well. Anyways, the chalk. Hey uh, Chris, even though you never got the chalk, you deserve a reward for trying so hard to find it. So in return, I can let you borrow um it's civil but with a J. Jevil. My my homemade DVD my homemade DVD collection of the symptoms. You know, the sitcom about the middle class monster family? It's got every episode in all twenty eight seasons. It's the funniest, most quotable show ever. But make sure you don't watch past the and it disappeared. Okay, well, okay. It's a, office! Office! Shut up! Are you done? You don't want to watch it? Now that's okay, Chris. <laughs> Too many spoilers alerts already. It's a dirty trash can. It's also a dirty trash can. It's a trash can full of well-kept flowers. And then from there, I have no idea what the greedy face is. Okay, I'm just gonna go finish with uh, exploring around town. I'm then gonna go right to bed. I think the home is up north. I don't wanna go up north yet. All right, so I explore it up here. I think I explored everything on this side. Let me check. Yeah, okay, that's all. That's all explored. Explored that. Hospital's done. Talk to Undyne. Library. Keep going down. We got the town hall. We got the church. What's over here? Hello. What we got here? What's with the tombstones? Gerson Boom Memorial Bench. Throughout my career, some of my best ideas came from dreams. Take a risk to you. If anyone asks, you're writing. Gerson. Renowned historian, author, and teacher. Crystal. A snowy gemstone for a proud mother. Mutler. A big bone for a leader of the pack. <clears throat> Shira. A karaoke microphone for a brave singer. Gerson is a turtle from Undertale to shopkeeper. Gerson was a turtle shopkeeper at Undertale. Mrs. Fluffy Buns. So Gerson was the turtle. What happened to them? I don't remember what happened to them. Mottler sounds familiar, though. Chris, what a pleasant surprise to see you here. And on a school day. There must be a reason that you came here for such a time. I, Father Alvin, employer, you have anything weighing on your mind, please speak. Uh, fruit juice. Chris, if you want some of our sick fruit juice, you should come to our service. Our toy sounds a bit thinner since your brother went away. Chris, it would be wonderful if you would sing with us, or even participate in any extent, instead of just trying to drink the fruit juice. Jeez. At first I thought Shira was Shirin, but must must be her mom. Maybe. I don't know. I don't remember any of those people who died. Especially Gerson. What's down here? Oh, we got down here. 
<clears throat> well, hello there. Gaster's bunker. It's locked. Well, damn. I'll come back to it later. I don't know, but is it really important? We don't know what's inside yet. Oh. There's a pedophile locked away in that shelter. <clears throat> Anyways, to the town hall. What's inside this town hall? Even though YouTubers are posting screenshots saying they open it. Uh, well, you know what's really funny, J-Bob? I have not heard anybody saying like they open that, especially on Twitter. I'm on Twitter every day, and people haven't really said anything about it. If you speed up some music, it is the gaster noises. Hmm. For a second, I thought that lady was flipping me off. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The mayor is busy right now. If you need to see her, please try causing some terrible crisis. I mean, uh... You, Mr. Bear. Let me kick you. The mayor's charisma is about zero. No, it's negative. Did you use the phone in the dark world? Did I use the phone in the dark world? Uh, I don't remember. As a matter of fact, I don't remember seeing a phone in the dark world. Did I? Cell phone and key items. No, I did not. But she works hard and has a good track record. So she runs un oh, unexposed. That's politics, rarely. <clears throat> hey, short stuff. Why would you possibly need to talk to the mayor? Your allowance too low? Ate too much candies? Lost your frisbee in a wash? Hey, short stuff. That's what the cops are for. Can I get past you guys? Yeah, no, I didn't use any cell phones on the key items. I didn't even bother, like, going through my key items as much. Probably should have, but I never bothered doing it. Why, wow, was there something important that I uh, shouldn't should have knew about? I think I covered everything, right? Went down there. Nothing inside that. Nothing back here. Nah, okay. Well, good. <laughs> Just a sound effect. Alright, so I cleared everything around town here. And down below. It's cool. I recommend that little easter egg in the second playthrough. I'll remember that. If I come back to this, I'll uh, make sure I remember to pick up the cell phone. Do I have to do it like a specific location? Or can I just use it at any time? Hey, what are you doing over here? Oh, hi, Chris. Did you need help with your homework again? I know you were having a trouble last time, so, um... I actually got a few things ready for you, in case... Ah, wait, sorry. I can't right now. I forgot my house key again, and... Sorry, Chris. I'll help you later, if that's okay. See you at school, Chris. Um, Chris. Did you want to talk about something? How about key? Huh? Why don't I ask my mom for the key? I mean, um, I, you know, she doesn't like it when I bother her when she's working. Don't worry, okay? I'll just go over to Caddy's. Uh, how about Susie? Susie? That's right, you were with Susie. When you didn't come back to class, I th I was worried, but everything turned out okay, I think. Um, Chris, can I ask you something, if that's okay? Susie, I'm kind of curious what she's like, you know. I mean, who doesn't wonder about her? She never talks to anyone. So, Chris, could you tell me about her, if that's okay? Uh, ter uh, she's nice. What? She's a nice person? Really? Like, really, honestly, truly? I mean, that's just what I was hoping, but... Wait, this is another trick, is it, Chris? Like, when you put ketchup on your arms and told me it was blood. Really? You're serious? You're totally serious? Gosh, then maybe I should try talking to her. But if I die, you're paying for my funeral, Chris. Though honestly, if she's nice, I might die too. 
Yeah, I don't know. She could give you a nice big old hug. Okay, uh, anyways. It's cool. I recommend a little Easter egg. I read that. Check for the lab behind Sans House of Possible. Just in Dark World. Okay, just in Dark World anywhere. I tied. I couldn't find anything. I also... Also, that cat is missing a paw. An arm for that matter. Are we talking about that big blue cat in the hospital? Yeah, I know. That's why he was saying. Hi, Chris. Something up? Uh, anything. I'm um, Chris. Are you feeling alright? Normally you're not so talkative. Oh, I don't mean to sound like something's wrong with you. Um, Chris, is something wrong? Why did I... Why did you go to the hospital to see my dad? I mean, I'm sure he appreciated it, but, um... Gosh, I'm sorry, Chris. Forget I said anything. <clears throat> no, the one on the lawn. Oh, that guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't talked to him yet. Ah, uh, Chris, like, if you want to come in, our cat flap is, like, always open to you. Little Chrissy, like, what's up? Give Aunt Catty a hug. Mra mra mra. <clears throat> mra mra mra. Ha! Ah, I'm not even actually- I'm not even actually your aunt. Oh my god, can I talk to you about something? Actually, like, anything, though. Your choice. Uh, Ezreal. Oh my god, Ezreal, like, what a cutie pie! Do you remember when me- when me and him went to the dance? That was, like, the best night ever. Even though I spilled the entire punch bowl all over him, and danced inappropriately in front of your mom, and got arrested in the parking lot for making the scene. Boy, what- <laughs> Boy. Ha, huh, that was so much fun. Tell him I said hi. Okay, you, with a messing arm. Hey, neighbor, baber. Neighbor, baber. Baber. Sounds weird. What? Oh, shit. I didn't mean to hit enter. My girls love to see him. He's a sweet little man. He's just... He's just got one problem. He doesn't like my wife's cooking. What's wrong, Douglas? What's wrong, Douglas? You don't like frozen cat food? Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, I don't know about frozen cat food. It's a broken grill. It smells like burnt cat food. What's going on there? Oh, jeez. Hey, is that the lady from the shop? With the... Uh, other friend of hers? I don't remember what the names were. I know they I know they used to run a shop. Chrissy, like long time to see. What's up? Did you want to talk about something? Go away. Bah. Memories. Remember that time you wanted to hang out with us big kids? I was like, yeah, of course. Just get us some burgers. Then like amazingly you actually got him. Braddy and Caddy, that's it. So I told you to go back and get some french fries too. Then a dozen miniature cakes. Then they, then they were so good, I ate like six. Then I, I like suddenly got so sick, I had to go home. Man. So like anyway, Chris, are you busy? Hey. There's some kind of scratching noise coming from inside. They're having a fun time in there, if you know what I mean. Anyways, uh, this guy's house, the guy that likes the music. I'm afraid no one's home right now, darling. Now, why don't you prance on home? Really? I'm telling you, they're not home right now. Ah, uh, you just want to talk to me. My apologies, beautiful. I'm afraid I'm a bit of a nobody. Yeah, it's the same story. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> Flower King! With that blue truck. Nice truck. It's your dad's truck. The floor in the front seat is littered with old papers and country CDs. He's listening to... He's in the countries. Hey, Papa! Dum de dum de dum de dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. My town is a ghost, but was in the robot's body. 
A ghost, a ghost, ghost, ghost. Bear hug! I have almost finished watering these flowers. Dum de dum de dum. Here we are. Howdy, how can I. Oh, Chris. Jeez. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I forgot if you don't like hugs like that. Well, now, make yourself at home, Chris. You can help yourself to anything you like. Uh, yeah, what's with all the soil on the floor? And a flower. It's a flower! Stand by the lake in the area to the right of the flower shop at the edge for a few seconds. What do we got up here? Oh, cool! It's a green flower, protected in its container. This is a... That's not a green flower. It's an orange flower, protected in its container. It's a yellow flower, protected in a container. It's a golden flower, protected in the container. It's a cyan flower, protected in the container. It's a blue flower, protected in a container. And finally, it's a purple flower, protected in a container. It fills me up with so much determination that all these flowers are inside these vases. In these cases, I mean. Boy, what a... It's a small TV on top of some superhero comics. It's a rusty fridge with some photos on it. Oh, Chris, if you're hungry, help yourself to anything you want. Uh, sure, I guess. All that's inside is a jar with a single pickle in it. You decided to pass. Mm, not a move for pickles. There is some dirty fur stuck in the drain. Again, what's what the people in the fur is getting stuck in the drain? It's a door. It's locked. What's on the inside? Who knows? <clears throat> Okay, I think that's it for me for the inside of this building. Hey! Oh, Chris, before you go. Here, for your mother, our secret. You got the bouquet... <clears throat> bouquet of flowers. Have a great day, Chris. Oh, man, now we got to 0.1%. Damn it! Oh, hey, it's you two guys. I always hated you guys. Nothing better than hanging out the lake with my best bro. Watching the waves go by. True. <laughs> That's it. So what did I got standing here for a few seconds for? Ah yes, the view of the lake. How nice. Okay, I'm standing still. Stand for about two hours and Sonic appears. Cool. That's what I'll do. I'll just sit here like this for two hours. Move to the circle. Okay. There I am at the circle. Maybe I gotta be more center like. Wait, I can't move. Never mind. Well, hello there. Hey there. Noticed you were here. It's me! You know me, right? Of course you do! I'm real popular, I just... don't have any friends. But it's okay you're here, because you're, you're here! Will you be my friend? Won't you be my friend? Why yes, of course I'll be your friend. Oh, I'm so happy you're here. I'm so happy that I... I don't know what to do. I don't remember being at this happy before. What's your name, friend? Hippopotamus. Nah, I'll be nice. Chris, that's you. That's a real nice name for a friend. Oh, excuse me. I forgot to introduce myself. Actually, since no one talks to me, I forgot my own name. Aw, oh, man. Chris, can you give me a name? <laughs> I 
I should have went with that. <laughs> As we have two beauty disgusting onion. Should I go with the onion? I know I should have picked the name Hippopotamus. But I I think I'd be nice. Onion san. Onion san! It's a perfect name for ya. It's perfect you here. I don't know what it means, but it's perfect. Hmm, feels like it's shaped like me. Feels like it smells like me. Wait, what was the name? Uh, I'm Yim. Yeah, it's perfect. I'm, I'm Yum. That's my name. Thank you for giving me a name. I'll cherish it, you hear? Well, that's his actual name. That's his name in Untale. Ah, but he forgot his memory, though. Ah, Christmas? That's your name, right? Yeah, I'm a Christmas. <laughs> I am the one who brings the holidays every year on Christmas Day. I am the ghost of Christmas future and the ghost of Christmas pa past. I could be the ghost of Christmas present too. I want to tell you something. Tomorrow, something I can only tell a friend. Come back soon, you hear? <clears throat> I'm your son. Come back. Eh, I guess I'll see him tomorrow. Hello again. Okay, so there was something about behind Sans' house I was reading about in chat. Alright, so what's so important about behind Sansy's house? Was there a back door? No? I guess not. Yeah, I know that shadow, right? You can't get there, I guess. I thought so. I thought there was like some kind of a trick to it, but I guess not. I just can't stop laughing when I think a choice between uh, Hippopotamus, Hippopotamus and Chris. I mean, Chris could be the new Hippopotamus. <clears throat> just draw a friend of, of Chris. Call Sands. Uh, call Sands. Calling Sands. Ring, ring. Hello? You have reached the hotline for idiot babies. Please press 1 for idiots, 2 for babies, 3 for idiot babies, and 4 for none. 1. Ah, you're an idiot. To tell you the truth, I'm one too. Let's try our best, okay? Click. Okay. So, um... Whoops. Not Sans number. Ring, 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 ring. The phone kept ringing infinitely. Really? No answer? Someone about to pick up the phone. The phone kept ringing infinitely, but there was nothing. So I am now forever an idiot. Not an idiot, baby. <clears throat> nope. I guess not. Hello, is this mommy's car? It's your mom's van. Really? Doesn't look like a bunch of van. Okay, let's see here. Is there anything else to do here? Nope, I guess that's on me. Get Tori out of flowers, leave the house, then check the trash can. Welcome home, honey. Did you have fun with your friend today? By the way, I just finished baking a pie. If you go to bed, it'll be cool when you wake up. But do not eat it all this time, alright? Okay, well, Chris, what is it, honey? Uh, a dad brought me, just brought home some flowers for ya. Oh, Chris, flowers? For your mother? How sweet. These are from him, are they not? Uh, well, worry not, Chris. I will find some place for them. And into the dumpster they go. Is the trash inside? Back again. My, you are active today, are you not? Perhaps you can use some of that energy to wake up one time. Your brother cannot carry you to school anymore, you know. <clears throat> this trash can? It's a trash can. Somehow, its floor scent has increased. Okay, well, I'm in a kitchen. Trash can. Somehow, its floor scent has increased.
Keep talking, Torio. Okay. Chris, what is it, honey? So, uh... About the pie in the kitchen. Chris, since only you and I are living here right now, it feels just a bit lonely, does it not? But fortunately, sharing a warm, freshly made pie isn't the perfect cure for such a condition. As long as I get to eat some, of course. Okay, what else? Uh, me! Chris, honey, you have grown up so much. Someday soon you will be going off to the university as well. Remember when you were little? You asked me when your horns were going to grow your grow in. <clears throat> so we brought that headband with the little red horns on it. Oh, you wore it for months. Whatever happened to it? That's a good question. I probably it's probably somewhere lost in my room. Chris, what is it, honey? Remember that video game you and Ezio used to play? What was it called? Super Smashing Fighters? How about Super Smashing Brothers? The ultimate Super Smash Brothers will be coming out pretty shortly. I hope he was all hyped about it. <clears throat> when he was very little, he loved the green lizard from that. We even had a birthday party for him theme around it. Your father painted all these eggs with spots as decoration. Oh, your brother loved it. Until the next day, your father cooked them all for breakfast. Your brother just kept crying. Ever since, he hated that book about eating green eggs. Green eggs and ham. Okay, so this came out just before the Smash Direct. I mean, Rosie's. Yeah. It seems like there's like a very dark story between Chris and Rosie. It's like somehow they swap places. A dark way was a bunch of toys, so the horns could have been Rosie. Could be. Yeah, it could be. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna steal a piece of pie. It's a butterscotch summon pie. It's still cooling. But can I eat it though? No. There's a photo in the fridge. It's of you, your mother, and your brother. But no Asgore. Because his horns were red. Cooking cutters for gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans. Hmm. Oh, look, I'm back in the bathroom. On a shower ledge, there's a small container of apple scented shampoo and a gallon sized container of pet shampoo. And once again, there's somewhere in this household, there's a drainage that's clogged with white fur. You looked inside the sink cupboard. There's a can of Icy's Cold Boys body spray, spray for the boys, flaming hot pizza flavor. It seems to be almost entirely full. Remember to go back to the end when you wake up. I'm on the edge of my seat. Oh boy, are you ready for this? Are you all waiting for this now? Remember to go back to the onion when you wake up. I should scoot back. <laughs> Alright, so there's nothing else for me to do for today. I did everything. <clears throat> the door is locked. Toya has some interesting stuff in her room that she does not want Chris to see. If you go to bed, this chapter of Avengers will end. Alright, so Prince Falsy, yep, bedtime. Last chance. I, I did everything. There's nothing else that I missed, correct? <clears throat> also, try moving around during this cutscene. Okay. You decided to go to bed. And also try moving around doing a cutscene. What am I doing under the blanket? <laughs> Did 
Well, I am trying to move, and nothing isn't really happening. I moved when I moved when I got out of bed. That's a hell of a plot twist. Good night, J Bab. That was uh, such a plot twist in the end there. Oh, well. Okay then, I guess the uh, game ended like that. But hey, that was a lot of fun though. <clears throat> I can't wait for the chapter two. I'll have to see if I can try to get some updates on chapter two. I don't think chapter two is probably not going to happen for at least a while, I don't think. Then again, I haven't really heard anything about chapter two. Yes, it was. I, I, I appreciate it with everybody coming out tonight. I never really had this much activity going on. But then again, of course, small channel, you know how it goes. With small channels, nothing happens. All that fun jazz. Alrighty, Prince Rosie. Yes, I'm going to end the stream here too. Where I've been going on for over four hours and my throat is really... <laughs> Might just be a full game. Well, I'm looking forward to it though. <coughs> okay, so... <clears throat> I'm going to end the stream right here, but before everyone takes off, there's the, whoops, here's the YouTube link to the YouTube channel. You probably already seen that earlier with Nightbot, you know, chatting. And here's the Twitter link as well. Wait, shit, I spelled that wrong. T-W-I-T-T-E-R. There, I spelled it right. And there's a link for the Twitter as well. If you'd like to um, stay up to date with all the stuff, like, I usually just, like, say stuff personally just get stuff on my chest or to let you guys know like hey there's a new video come on i just post on youtube or hey i'm live streaming you know all that fun stuff yeah i do have a switch well you know i have a switch j bob we were playing mario tennis that day <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah anyways there's those two links and thank you again for shadow taco for the follow the live papyrus for the follow Prince Rossi for the follow, and Jay Bab for subscribing to the YouTube channel. That was a hell of a that timing could not get any better. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, anyways, thank you all so much for coming out tonight. I will probably stream again tomorrow. I don't know what I'll be streaming yet. I'm not sure Metro will probably be one to play more Dead by Daylight, so me and him will probably play more Dead by Daylight. I don't know what time yet, probably around 8 p.m. my time. Eastern Standard Time. But before that, I probably might stream something else too, but We'll see what happens. Stay tuned for more. I will see you all next time in a different video on a different live stream. Have a nice night. <clears throat> Enjoy. I'll see you all again. Hopefully soon. <laughs>